All right, here we are in Illustrator. Just got a quick tip I want to show you on how to, you know, fill in some colors by using the divide option. And uh, I'm going to start with a rectangle. I'm just going to make a random series of rectangles with um, no stroke on them. And I'll just vary up some colors a little bit just to kind of see where these random shapes are going. And our end goal is to kind of divide all these up and apply color to them individually. Can be frustrating if you've only used Photoshop and you're just used to like dumping a paint bucket tool or something like that. Um, you might think like it's going to be the same process, but just a little, a little bit different. Um, no big deal. I'll essentially select everything I have. Let's pretend this is some sort of shape, some sort of um, like a outline of a dinosaur or something um, and we want to color individual parts well if these are all the little parts that it took to make up that particular dinosaur we could just select everything and we want to go to our object and then path up here and outline stroke once we do that um, you know that's step one the next thing we want to do is go to our pathfinder tool which for me it would be over here but if you don't know where it is or can't find it go to window look down here to pathfinder and there it is uh for us right here i just want to basically divide everything so under pathfinders i'm just clicking divide and at that point um, you can see once we're in there each one of these little there's like a bunch of little chunks from these sections so i could technically like make that one green make this chunk that got divided up a different shade of purple this little divided one green again, just whatever I'm, you know, able to select now based on that division we applied from that pathfinder allows us to select these unique individual sections a lot easier than just like, I don't know, trying some weird way. Um, so basically, yeah, again, just object, create outlines, and then, um, get your pathfinder tool up, divide them, and you got it. It's pretty simple um, to do something like this, but just, you know, want to give you another quick tip. All right, peace.